Oh, already an immediate carry off the stage from Jaja and Marco losing the stock right off the bat. Hold up. Sorry. Hold the I was, phone. I was it's... eating my my McChicken, so I couldn't say anything about that. But that was uh, crazy. Hello? That was pretty insane. Yeah, he carried this man all oh my. the way. I'm sorry. And then hey, Marco, one. wake up. Marco, Marco wake what up, what is bro. going on? What, what are you doing? Hey, can someone check if Marco's playing the game right now? Like, what? <laughs> Hey, what is? Does he, does what he just happened to him? Does he have his control? Okay, 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 okay. Wait, no, no, he's good, he's good, he's good, he's good. I feel bad. The whole chat is in shambles, man. Worried <laughs> about their points. It looks like they bet on the wrong person, probably. But we'll see, man. Still too early to tell. Marco's slowly waking up. Oh, the Jeja is carrying this man. Oh my! Oh my God! Marco doesn't know what's happening right now. He's. He just got obliterated in less than two minutes. I couldn't even tell if he was actually playing the game or not, but apparently he was. Damn. Is this a Zelda speedrun right now? What the <sighs> heck just happened? Marvelous Marco, any percent, one one minute game only. That's what it's, <laughs> that, that's what it's looking like. It was looking like a Marvel. Yeah, any percent, man. I'm I'm sorry, Marco. Like. You're looking like you need to wake up because JJ just took the whole game in one minute. I can't even. I didn't even know Kirby could beat a character that fast. Like <laughs> I, I told I you guys, JJ is a player of a whole different caliber, especially with Kirby of all the characters, man. All right, well, Marco gets a second shot, man. We'll see if it's a little different from game one. Marco starts off with the bomb, definitely giving a little bit more respect to Jaja, but he's still leading in terms of percent. Yeah. I think that's the one thing we're seeing from Jaja is he's not going to let go of that aggression because he knows the minute I let go, I give Toon Link what he wants, and it's that spacing and it's the projectiles. That's what he's doing exactly. He's like trying to get in his face before he can even pull like the boomerang or the bomb. And uh, Marco's disadvantage is just allowing him to get reset over and over, it seems. Yeah, and keep in mind, all the links suffer from a little bit of startup frames when it comes to pulling out a bomb or a boomerang, so they are very susceptible to being hit right before they can even get the throw out. Good stone oh, here, geez. but great on Marco to go for the reverse oh. hero. Uh, I'm sorry, spin attack. Yeah, he didn't get the last hit to come out, but there's the forward air. Confirm off of the boomerang, it seemed. All right, Marco looking to wake like, up, but the dash oh, attack dude. shuts him down. Just run into him with the dash attack. Oh, nice. Trying to get a bomb combo of his own. Yeah, so far, much better game for, for Marco. He's still struggling a little bit, but at least he's able to get his like projectiles out on the stage this time. Nice. Oh, back throw into the bomb? Yeah, good percent. Oh. A lot of pressure at the ledge right now, but the the final cutter, getting him out of the corner. Ooh, wow, the reverse spin attack actually is still not enough to kill. Oh, nice, catching the landing there. Oh, that's that's a good percent for Marco. Uh. Barely living here. Got the bomb in hand as well. And he's <laughs> nice recovery. Using the bomb and even trying to position himself for the reverse spin attack off stage two. Oh. Dang. Forward smash. Yeah. Killing long, from all screen. It's, it's got a lot of knockback, man. Even way back in Smash 4, it was one of the strongest. One of the strongest, but it was a very strong smash attack, indeed. So Marco looking for space to pull out bombs and just trap out Jeja. There's oh. a bomb indeed on the explosion here. Marco's going to watch the stone as well. I like that. He was looking for the boomerang to confirm Jeja and then go for a forward smash to take the hit. Yeah, Down throw, sometimes bomb. Marco will, uh, he'll intentionally do moves that look punishable, but he knows that the boomerang's coming back, so it'll cover him. Exactly. Yeah, it's really smart. Oh, this is scary, though. Marco that can't really good. make any mistakes right now. Uh, yeah, he really cannot afford to at this point. He can die at any point. <laughs> Especially getting put in the corner of the stage like this. 
good pressure with both Boomerang and the forward air. That's going to be almost the back throw on one too many pummels. There is going to be the spin attack on the ground. Not enough. Bomb toss upwards to cover the air. Jeez. Jenna really struggling to get off of the ledge right now. Wait. Marco? Go straight to the ledge, but he's in a pretty bad spot. Yeah, oh, still on the platform. 90% this high rage Kirby can take it with a smash attack. Forward tilt, not enough. Man, Jenna is living so long. Almost 200 with Kirby right now. You still gotta respect and Marco, Marco. still can't mess. He can't mess mm. up because he can die right now if he yeah. does anything that's too laggy. I think at this point for Marco, he might have to go to a situation where he can trap Jeja into a grab or possibly hit him off a oh. straight hit with Boomerang again. And we see those setups here, but Jeja has been avoiding them every time. This is going to be a down throw. Oh. Yeah, an up throw not ready yet, but there will be the next time. Marco yeah, using the Z jump on the bomb to land. Yeah. Oh, this is so scary. He ran away to the corner. He's like, please, don't punch me. Yeah. All right. 222% with Kirby. Mm, oh, okay, yeah. okay. Finally, he sneaks in the up there. But he, again, Marco, he's barely won that game. He could have died at any time. Yeah. I think he was playing it. I think it was a lot of tension on his part. But still, leave it to Marco because he did a lot to just make sure that that tension wasn't going to dictate his gameplay. And he did a lot of like, okay, let me make sure the boomerang's out there at all times. Let me make sure the bomb is around me at all times. Let me make sure that if Jeja is going to go for a jump, an aerial, or any play in the air, there is something to cover that. And it is always going to be bomb and boomerang. Why? Because it's like you said, Strides, he's not worried about getting grabbed or getting hit. The boomerang will come back and break that, and the bomb will definitely help him confirm to another aerial. Yeah, I mean, a lot of really good Tomb Links abuse that but i see marco do it a, a lot even compared to other uh tomb links yeah it's actually really funny because like he'll he'll get someone with it at least once because they were like really this guy just like got away with charging a force smash in my face because a boomerang <laughs> came back and hit me mm -hmm. down air no confirming oh barely getting the last hit of up air a lot of active frames on that one mm -hmm. It's actually super good against Curry, is how slow he is in the air. Yeah. Missed grab, gets a roll to get a wow from him, gets the spin attack. We're going. A lot of things are falling from the sky. <laughs> Jeja's trying to hold shield. He doesn't, he doesn't want to get caught dropping shield and getting comboed right now. Still very scary, though. I think boomerang fair is true still. Uh, might be able to get a bomb fair at this percent as well. Yeah, and even if he doesn't get right. bomb fair, he can get things like bomb up air with the, the or bomb down air, depending on the trajectory Kirby has sent. Ooh, what Dang, a roll big roll though. call out! Damn, Marco only took twelve percent. Oh, nice setup, bomb into the down air, trapping him in the shield from the arrow too. Yeah, Marco's looking really good right now. Straight to the ledge. He's gonna go time it down air here. Yep, mm. yep, 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 yep. <laughs> so easy for something to get that if you go low with a character like Kirby. And now it's huge lead for Marco. Yep, the blue ring was there to cover that too. Bomb. The voids. The mm. stone doesn't get the last hit of the spin attack, unfortunately, but that was an amazing recovery for Marco. Yeah. Marco was such a big lead here. Jeja, Jeja with the back air. Looking to get the reverse wow. and the spin attack, but not he enough. Actually went for, he actually went for reverse spin attack there, too. He actually almost ended up working. Oh, the boomerang actually hit him out of the up B, but it doesn't matter because Marco is still continuing all this pressure. Jeja struggling to find an opening. Oh, man, look at all the coverage with the projectiles. So many things are just flying everywhere. Oh! The Boomerang comes back, but he gets past it. No, oh, not the best string for Jeja. Oh, yep, straight to the ledge.
Oh, nice parry. But I think the wind box actually messed up his punish. Yeah. Oh, on the back throw. And that'll do it here. Marco moves up 2-1 against Jeja. When Jeja yeah. was starting off as such a strong game one, Marco was able to turn things around. Game one yeah, was definitely he, uh, a wake up for, for Marco, for sure. Yeah, he got three stocked in less than a minute on game one. Then he's like, okay, hold on. <laughs> this guy's this guy's good. Right. So, Jeja trying to bring this to a game five, but Marco one game away from being in a uh, winner's side grass. Can't remember the last time that happened at Emerson, but he's playing incredible today, so definitely deserves it. And, uh, yeah, Jeja choosing to just run it right back to FD, even though the last game was pretty difficult for him. Oh, but the boomerang fair coming out as well. Marco, it's, he's just getting to hit every move he wants pretty much right now. Oh, oh, nice. Not dead, but very close. Oh, he has the bomb in his hand. Nice. Uses the directional air dodge to get to the ledge and then gets the ring into the void air. Close it out. Marco again getting the first stock. Nice. Don't commit to the full jab there. Just kind of dash back, get some stage control again. Oh, he has the bomb in hand, but it doesn't even need it. Oh, nice. Good catch there for JJ. Oh, the bomb. Getting him out of that combo and allowing him to get so much percent as well. Got the bomb set up too. Nice. Really good movement right here for Marco. Even covering that force match with the boomerang too. And there's another one. That boomerang is always in the right spot for Marco. Oh yeah, great pivot guard as well. Jedi is really struggling in neutral right now. He keeps getting reset over and over. Matches out of the back throw attempt, but yeah, he's so close to dying right now. Only taking 22% on Marco. Yeah. Projectiles everywhere, and then the forest hill hitting the ledge. He was pretty scared to get off a ledge there because of the, the bomb coming down, so he ran out of invincibility very quickly. And uh, yeah, Marco's taking advantage. Gets the jab lock, but down to some off stage, unfortunately, so not able to get the super hard punish. Oh, nice. Yeah, big punish on the dash attack there from Marco. Marco's making himself very difficult to hit. Yeah, as he should, man. The less, the more Kirby spends away from you, the the better. Nice, another boom right here. Oh, still living just barely, but Jeja has an opportunity. He's taking a little bit percent, but he can kill Marco very quickly or very soon without taking too much. I would say if he doesn't get to eighty. On this stuff. Ne never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> this is really bad. <laughs> this is looking tough for Jeja. It is a very tough matchup for Kirby indeed. No back air for Marco, but finally oh. on the returning to the stage, the upper will connect. Yeah, that was that was rough for Jeja indeed, but Marco played incredibly huge, huge adaptation after getting pretty much steamrolled in the first game. Uh just really figured.